Hey guys, for this video, I wanted to try something different. I started making these videos because I've learned so much from watching other people's videos. I challenged myself to make ballast scissors, and I thought I should share what I learned along the way. And now, it looks like I have successfully made ballast scissors. So, people ask me how to buy them. But, despite a working prototype, it feels like there's still a lot left to do. I want to make sure I make a good product. I also started making videos because I hoped I'd get comments that would help me figure things out faster. So I want to recap what I've learned, and I want to show what I still think I need help figuring out. I've wanted to do something like this for a while, but I've struggled to find the right way to do it. Winter Gotten is trying to build a musical marble machine, and sometimes describes the process like Sisyphus pushing the boulder up the mountain over and over again. I can relate to this. So I made my own mountain, but more about what I've learned and what I still need to learn. I started with the goal of ballast scissors, and I thought it could be a sellable product. I thought it'd be a little easier than some of my other ideas, but it's been a bit of a challenge. The first thing I had to do was see if it was possible with a 3D model. After finding something that worked, I could start 3D printing. Here's where the Sisyphusian cycle begins. I started going back and forth between modeling and printing. But I come up with something good enough to make a metal version. I'd like to do titanium because I want to do anodizing. But I'm still getting used to the Tormach, so I start with aluminum. And I make some parts. But the design has flaws. It feels different than a bell song should. So I make a new design. And everything gets more complicated. I start thinking more about fixtures, and I make better parts. I get closer to the size and shape of a bell song, but I'm still unsure of the design, and I need a click button mechanism. I fall back down. I try another design, even more complicated, but this time I'm ready for steel. It's not titanium, but the blades are going to be steel anyway because I'm going to want to harden them. And at first, it's very encouraging, but I realize I'm ignoring important features of butterfly knives. I need washers to space out the handles so that they don't touch the blades, and the handles shouldn't touch each other, and where it's balanced matters. But I can't figure that out until I get to titanium, which is much lighter than steel. So I make another design, way more complicated. More fixtures, more parts. And it's a total failure. Here's where I've fully accepted that I need to break things up into tests more. I make tests just for trying out a mechanism. I make tests to try different button click mechanisms. I make simplified metal versions of everything working together. I make tests that aren't functional at all just to get a better sense of the size of things. People have asked about a spring opening mechanism or finger holes. I'm not against either. Someday it'd be cool to do a version with flip out finger holes, but for a while I thought it'd be too hard to figure out either. But I did do a test with some magnets and it showed promise. All these little tests gave me more confidence that my ballast scissors idea would work out. So I kept going and thought maybe I had finally got to a design where I could start making more permanent fixtures and make titanium parts and different materials for scales too and find somebody else to make pins for me. But maybe I was still a little premature with all that. But here's where we are. I can test the balance and it's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I still might try to make the handles a hair heavier. I don't think that's really possible with the aluminum though. So. It'll be interesting to do tests with, but aluminum isn't my focus right now. 
The balance of the steel is closer to titanium, but it's still crazy heavy. Even the titanium's a little bit heavy. I'm hoping I can make the blades a little bit lighter. And here's aluminum. Also, I could finally anodize parts. The design does have flaws though. I'm using 16 thou washers and I'm sinking them in 10 thou. I feel like 6 thou per side is just cutting it way too close. I don't know why I did that. I don't want the blades to bang and scratch up the inside of the handles. So I've already started another design. One where I have to make thicker washers. Or find somebody to make them. And I might experiment with what I make them out of. I'm also unsure of what's the best material for the pins. For the blades, I got some S30V I've been meaning to try heat treating with soon, but for the final product maybe I should use a different steel for the blades. There's a lot of choices. Once I do heat treat the blades, I'll have to do the final grinding and sharpening on them. And I'm not sure what the angle should be and the best way to do it. And scissors usually have bends in the blades so that they only touch where they're cutting. I'm really nervous about if I can even accomplish that. And I did learn that I probably want to get my stuff water jet cut. And the steel I might want pre-ground to the right thickness. Which means I'll have to find somebody to do that or buy another machine. I also probably want to find somebody to make springs for me. Or I'll have to make some kind of jig. They're a little inconsistent right now. And I should tumble the parts too. I'd like to get a tumbler but that also might be smart to have someone else do first. And there's some basic stuff I should figure out like engraving my name and a serial number into the part. I also think assembling things could be smoother. Hopefully that won't make me want to redesign anything. And if I do sell them, I think I should have some kind of website. And then I don't want to just throw these in a box with some packing peanuts, so I'll have to come up with some nice packaging. So there's still lots of things to figure out. I'm kind of at the bottom of the mountain again, but I think this is the last climb to the top. And I think it's going to be faster. Especially if people leave helpful comments. I hope this made sense to you and some people find it interesting. So, if you do, thanks for watching and hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.